Hello, all. I haven't updated a video in a while, but I decided why not record some of these Christmas gifts that I'm making this year. I'm making a belt buckle for my mom's husband, so I guess he's my father-in-law. <laughs> Anyways, I painted the back of it with just a simple white acrylic craft paint, and now I'm just using watercolors and gouache to paint it. I don't know, to me, getting gifts or making gifts for men are extremely difficult, especially when they don't necessarily have the same uh, hobbies as you. Now, my mom's husband, pretty much his hobby is hunting. And hunting. That's pretty much it. And collecting things. I would say these things are junk piles, but they're treasures to him. <laughs> and maybe the gouache and the watercolors might not be the best option to paint on a belt buckle, but I like painting with it, and I'm not necessarily a great painter, and that's okay. But I enjoy it. And I did have a lot of problems with my recorder, recording my camcorder, not camcorder, but I used my phone to record, which usually I don't have trouble with recording with my phone, but today it just kept pot stopping and I had to redo it and it was just a mess and I don't understand why, but there it is. <laughs> now I realize that when I opened up my gouache, there was a bunch of little dried up paint that came off and been there for quite a bit and I didn't realize it until later when I go, oh, here, let me get rid of that. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Is there a favorite medium that y'all like to work with? I don't know. I don't paint a whole lot, but I do enjoy working with gouache because gouache can lay down as thick as acrylic or as light as watercolor or anywhere in between. And I enjoy that if you don't like what you did, add a little bit of water and it kind of reactivates the paint and lets you move it around and do something else with it. I, I really enjoy that part of gouache. I kind of wish I might have made the background a little bit darker, but oh well. <laughs> Live and learn. But eh, it turned out okay. I really. I don't know why I wasted as much time as I did making the grass, but I did. I covered most of it up anyways. <laughs> but I wanted it to semi look like grass, so I was using three different mixtures of colors going back and forth between them, which again, my cameras had so many issues, I don't understand, but it did, so I had to keep trying to edit it out. I don't know if I got them all. I hope I did. But, ugh, what a pain. Do y'all have any difficult people to make for gifts for? I know for me, the men are a lot harder to make gifts for than anybody else. Especially when they don't have the same hobby or likes as yourself because I know my mom's husband he's a or father-in-law I'm not used to calling him my father-in-law you know it's not been that long but I don't know it's very difficult to me I don't hunt but he's a hunter so I'm trying to paint a deer which I'm not very good at it so I'm trying to think okay what do they look like Pull up a couple of pictures. I'm like, all right, let's use these as references and have at it. <laughs> I know my 
uncle and my cousin, those two in my family are fairly easy because we have similar hobbies. So getting making gifts for them or getting gifts for them is easy. But when it comes to somebody that does something that you're just not really into, like granted I'm not into hunting. Now if you give me some deer meat, hey, I'll be thankful and take that and be like, yeah, I'll eat me some deer meat. But to actually go out and hunting, no. It's like every morning almost practically if I go outside there are deer constantly in my yard and they know I don't hunt so they're not afraid and they're love to just come up and they'll run off a little bit will scare each other they'll run maybe five six foot and stop and look at me and then they'll start snorting at me and then I'll start yelling at them to stop snorting at me and they're lucky I don't hunt <laughs> I end up having a conversation with the deer. <laughs> um, does anybody else have odd conversations with wild animals <laughs> that show up in your yard? <laughs> it's like I know last summer I tried to have a um, a garden, a pot garden that was on my um, well, not pot pot, but container garden. I guess that's a better <laughs> word. <laughs> to use uh, vegetables on my front porch because if I put them out in the vegetable garden the deer come and eat them all and I'm like well I ain't putting these I'm not doing all this work so the deer can eat my vegetables so I made a container garden on my front porch well that didn't work out so well they came up to my porch and started munching on them on my porch and plus with the hot wonderful hot summer I couldn't get the watering too well in a container garden but I know I struggled making this deer this deer was not fun for me to paint this part I just kept changing it doing things I ended up not liking something so I reactivated the gouache to kind of somewhat fix it up again I don't know it's just uh, Sometimes you just got to go with it. You try to fix it. It just gets worse. Yeah, a little bit more. I'm like, ah, eventually it starts to look like a deer. May not be my best work, but it's a, it's a something. <laughs> and I'm not very light handed. I'm kind of heavy handed. So doing those little itty bitty details is not exactly the easiest thing for me. And I know when I was touching it up and painting it, I'm like, what is wrong with this deer? It doesn't look right. What is wrong? What is it missing? And then I just kept looking at it going, wait a minute. I forgot that it has the bottom jaw. That's what it's missing. So I had to paint in a little jaw. And then I'm like, oh, I guess I should start shading in it. And then I'm like, ooh, that's a little bit too dark. So I had to go back and put some water on it and kind of move it around and I didn't like the heavy-handed fur that I did <laughs> go figure so I came back with the water and reactivated the gouache to get rid of some of that hardness which I think that helped a little bit but I kind of overdid it in some areas so it picked up and I'm like, oh well, it's the way it's going to stay. <laughs> Try to add a little bit more to the antlers, but I'm like, well, that's good enough. And then I almost thought I was done, and then I'm like, wait. Afterwards, I realized I forgot to add the little, the little highlights. When I thought I was done, this is where I was trying to repair the oopsie boopsie part. But I thought I was done, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't have the highlights. It needs little highlights. So I added little highlights.
didn't turn out too bad. Now I did end up putting a sealer, a spray sealer over it and then I coated it with resin afterwards but apparently making that part of the video I don't know I thought I had push record but apparently I didn't so I don't have it but yeah spray seal it first before you add the resin because gouache will somewhat reactivate with resin so the sealer will make it where it's not going to reactivate so you could put the resin down on top of it and you're not going to have any issue well i hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful christmas season this year or holiday and you enjoy your loved ones and i hope you've made some wonderful little gifts that they'll never forget <laughs> merry christmas all